bitch. Malati to your drama. I have no idea how to say her name, but I said that so confidently you guys thought I actually said it right, huh? No clue, girl, no clue. But anyways, Malati to your drama. It's a 52-year-old world-renowned Indonesian artist. Whose art pieces have reached certain levels of virality that many artists cannot reach today. And for some, including me, still talk about all the time. I intend to touch the fluid border between the body and its environment through my artwork. I aim to create a concentrated level of intensity without the use of narrative structure. Let me repeat that. I aim to create a concentrated level of intensity without the use of narrative structure. One more time. I aim to create a concentrated level of intensity without the use of narrative structure. Let's just remix it real quick. I aim to create a concentrated level of intensity without the use of narrative structure. Which in my lack of art mind translates to. I like to make some really crazy shit that makes no cohesive sense whatsoever. <laughs> Welcome to the world of performance art! <laughs> Nah. But first, this video was sponsored by Native. An aluminum and paraben-free deodorant with amazing smells. You heard me say it much in the past and I will say it again. My nose is very sensitive when it comes to smells. And so when I say these smells are absolutely divine, I mean these smells are absolutely divine. Because I simply look like a cutie 24-7. always like the smell like a beautiful cutie 24-7. And would help with Native's simple and familiar and vegan and cruelty-free ingredients. That desire is reached to a full potential. It's not sticky and it dries very quickly and I just rhyme. But it's perfect when you're on the go. With a wide range of scents that are simple but very effective. The scents I got for myself were buttercream and French vanilla. That one smells absolutely amazing and I'm obsessed with it. Sea salt and cedar. It's actually gonna be the scent of my next candle, but that fell apart. But I'm very happy to have a deodorant with that scent. And also a scent from the limited edition Baked by Melissa collection. Inspired by cupcakes from Baked by Melissa. I got ginger lemon cupcake and it is absolutely one of the greatest smelling deodorants I've ever smelled in my entire life. Jesus Christ. I want to eat it. Oh my God. And also a cucumber mint for the body wash which makes this fresh boy smell fresh. The scents are very present and last all day. 24 hour protection. Even after a full day of moving and exercise. Nato also offers a plastic-free version of their deodorant using the same formula but with more sustainable packaging. Other than their amazing deodorants, they have much more to offer, like the body washes I previously mentioned, and also toothpaste. Free deodorants will be thirty-nine dollars. If you use the link below and use my code MacDoesIt2, you'll get it for twenty-six dollars. That is over thirty-three percent off. Girl, go get it. And with my code, you can also get 20% off body washes and toothpaste. But seriously, try them. They're amazing. They're really good. I use them every single day. A girl likes to smell nice. Okay. And the body wash smells so clean. I took it with me on a trip, and I smell fresh every day. And I got a compliment once on my smell. And I actually only had the body wash on. I forgot to put on deodorant or any type of cologne that day. And they said I smelled amazing. Native! Uh, you're sponsoring this video. Now back to it. Oh, we art, art. Art, art, art. Can't spell fart without some art. Ha <laughs> ha, so your toots, kid. In one of my previous videos, I reacted to a video of a woman slipping on butter. A video that I have seen multiple times before in the past. I was very happy to have it come back into my vicinity. But what some of you guys might not know, there is an entire universe of stuff just like this in all the various corners of the world and of the internet and even some that were never recorded. And it's called Her Performance art. <laughs> What exactly is performance art, you ask? I don't know. Shut the fuck up. Stop asking me. It's mostly been a thing that's existed for a long time. But it was defined around the 1950s and 1960s when TV and recording devices were becoming a more consumable thing. Artists decided that they needed to push the world of media into a new level by creating live action art pieces of very uncomfortable situations. Extremely uncomfortable situations. And just slightly off. And having many of those moments only printed in photographs or very limited videos. Basically creating art that can never be sold in its original form because you can't own humans anymore. At least that's what we tell ourselves. Basically art where you have to physically be there to fully experience it and immerse yourselves into it. AKA a way for artists to charge very high prices for people to go sit in a room with them as they scream in your face. Yoko Ono, literally Yoko Ono. She literally put people into a room, walked up to a mic and screamed for like, what, two minutes? I refuse to know how much that cost. 
And there have been some pretty few mainstream performance artists. Lady Gaga laid on a crystal and uh, some other shit. I don't fucking know what happened there. Jay-Z rapped a song for like six hours straight because he wanted to. With sales down, boy. Oh, bitch. And that's how he was able to perform title. I'm joking. And then there are some crazy, absolutely terrifying ones I've ever seen in my entire life. Yes, I did take an edible and watch a bunch of performance arts videos and creep myself out for an entire night. And now I'm going to talk about them to you. I'm not going to show them in their entirety because I want you to experience that on your own. But but I'm going I'm going to recommend some shit. One specifically that I find one of the creepiest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Some artist named Oliver De Sagazan or Sagazan or Sagazan. I don't know, girl, girl. I don't know, girl. Like we get it. You're like from a different country. America first. <laughs> Basically, this artist did an installation called Who is Behind Our Face? Question mark. And are you ready to hear about it? Because here it comes. Where he proceeds to place clumps of like clay and dirt all over his face. Face. Deforming him. And then proceeds to poke the clay and stuff. With like black blue and red paint and shit. I don't know, but it's making the paint drip onto the clay. And he's also making noises. <laughs> okay. okay. Stop. Wow. But the creepiest part about is it is that it is purposely only in 240p. So there's just this low quality, rainy, crunchy video of a man putting clay all over his face. <laughs> And like moaning. Five million views. So I'm here to announce my performance. Ah! And of course, of course, of course. You have to talk about one of the greatest videos I've ever found in my entire life. If you know, you know, girl. You've seen it, you've seen it. Watch, watch, watch. Boom, boom. If you've seen that specific image, you already know what the fuck is about to happen, girl. You're ready. Here we go. It's coming. It's coming. Girl, it's coming. Girl, it's about to happen. Look at him looking around. He's ready. He's looking around. He's looking around, girl. And then. Hey, hey. Like that specific video actually comes for a full piece called Body Remix. Age restricted. Age restricted, girl. Well, I'm gonna link it below. There's titties flopping everywhere. Have fun. It literally starts with this guy like pop locking <laughs> over some weird robotic voice modulation while some girl on crutches is like chilling with her crotch up and a microphone in her mouth. But at first she's like. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Technically, there's a wide net when it comes to performance art. You can consider many artists concert performance art, basically. Specifically, Lady Gaga. Most likely, Lady Gaga. Every music video award performance she's done. Basically, has been performance art. Paparazzi was performance art, bitch. I remember sitting down watching that broadcast live, and when the blood started gushing from her from the piano, my first reaction was, oh no. Girl, hopefully that dress can get that stain out. Oh. And one of the most prominent performance artists, and actually an artist Lady Gaga herself studied under, hence her laying on a crystal that one time in that video and like doing other shit. I think she gets like whipped by hair. I don't fucking remember. One and only Marina Abramovic. Once again, have no idea how to say her name, but I said that so confidently you thought that was right, bitch. I don't fucking but know. But Mariana Abramova. Jay-Z did some performance art one. But Miss Margarita Abra movie is like the Jay-Z of performance art. Okay. okay. <laughs> As in she has done some weird shit. Very much weird shit. Like sit in a chair for 49 days straight and then stare at whoever sits in the chair across from her. 49 days straight. And I know what some of you are probably thinking. That's absolutely ridiculous. Who would pay for that? Who would sponsor that? Where would that even be put? To which I will respond. It was placed in MoMA. And the exhibit was paid for by more Hennessy Louis Vuitton. The company that owned, you guessed it, Hennessy and Louis Vuitton. Also Tiffany, Dior, Sephora, Fendi, Gari, Givenchy, and Miss Fenty herself. So she ate good, okay? She eating good. So maybe it's time we get off our high horses and see what the hell's going on down these alleys because they seem to be locked into something that we don't understand. They down there pat patting up with some money we ain't never seen. You telling me if I became so renowned, I can make insulation where I'm just sitting in a chair staring at people with a resting bitch face and I can be purchased by Mr. Louis Vuitton himself? Hmm. So I went down the wrong path in life, okay? She's done a lot of other extremely weird things like... <laughs>
Okay. She stood in a room with an arrow pointing at her chest for hours. Had her hair tied in a shared ponytail with another person for days. And also wrote a weird play about her life and death in which she starred in. Let me repeat that. Also wrote a weird play about her life and death in which she starred in. One more time. Also wrote a weird play about her life and death in which she starred in. With Willem Dafoe. That was the twist I added to the end. I was I was building that up. Not fully certain what happens in it, but Willem Dafoe is painted in white. He's crawling on his knees and singing. And then she's just chilling up there. And then suddenly tall men are floating around. And then at one point she gets wrapped around by like multiple boa constrictors. Art bitch. bitch art. She had a series of prodigies and apprentices, including the one and only Malati Suyodramo. Full circle, girl. Here we are back. Miss Butter dancing herself. Butter dancing. She getting it down. She going and she going and she going around. Love the sound of the tribal drums. The skin drums, what are they called? I know they're made out of skin. Not human skin, not human skin. Is it human skin? No, right, it's a cow, right? It's a cow. Girl, I need to open a history book. There it is. There it is. There it is. No. Come on, girl. Come on. Okay. 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 Get back up. Get back up, girl. Shame it off. Here we go, girl. There it is. There we go. <laughs> I mean, art. So basically, this woman just lays a bunch of butter blocks on the floor and just starts rag surfing with it until complete chaos breaks through. But she keeps on going. And you know what that is? That's art in process, bitch. Look at her. Look at her arting and shit. Oh, look at that art lay. Covered in art butter. Art swag serving. It's all art. It's all art. What? You don't get it? You don't understand? That's art, bitch. A piece to make you think. Make you unsettled. Make you react. The art itself isn't just a performance, but it's your mind processing the moments in front of you. How it affects you and how it consumes you. How you try your best to relate and grab it to a practicality. And in doing so, naturally giving it a meaning and giving it a life. Or she just wanted to slip on a bunch of butter. I don't know, girl. She's also done a plethora of some chaotic neutral. Like chase a chicken around a white room while wearing some stiletto heels. And called that Why Let the Chicken Run. Or her I'm a ghost in my own house. Where she literally crushes coal for like hours. Making her white clothing go completely gray. And then she kind of just like lays there for a bit too. And then goes back to crushing more coal. Yes, girl. Yes, get that rest, girl. All these performances have some type of meaning that I'm just not explaining to you guys. Because that's not my doing. That is not what I'm here for. I am not. A professor. If y'all want to find me, go watch them in their entirety and then tell me what you think. Whenever I watch one of these, I'm just like, how much y'all getting paid? How much was this? How do I get into it? I'll do it. I was actually thinking about recreating the butter dance, but then I thought, I don't want to. So yeah. She also drags a glass panel around the room and like has it lay on top of her at one point. I don't know, girl. And there's also one called The Promise where she is just sitting there with long hair, girl. Those locks, girl, those locks. Mama, those locks. Mama Lenta. Those locks, girl. So she's sitting there with those locks. Ripping open a stomach? Okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. Okay, we're done talking about this. Basically, all I want to say is performance art is a weird-ass world that exists. And if you ever want to just have a weird time in your life, go watch these videos. <laughs> <laughs> That's really all I wanted to do. I just wanted to shout out something. Give y'all some juice to watch on this website. Girl, it's a rabbit hole. And I promise you won't regret it. Shout out to Zips Do Drugs and Night27 Sky32 for retweeting my last video on Twitter. Comment down below. If you were to do a performance art piece, what would you do? Because my performance art would be me standing in a room with candles. Okay? Okay, I'm gonna sell it for y'all. I'll be standing in a room full of candles. In a gown. I'll be in like a, a beautiful gown. Just like standing there. Candles on like tall sticks. Like around. And I'll be walking to each candle. Slowly and seductively. And blowing out each candle, but the trick is every candle is one of those weird candles that like reignite no matter how many times you blow it out. So the entire time it's just me walking around for hours, blowing out each candle as I walk to a seductive. And when I walk away, the candle relights. What does that mean? <laughs> no rest for the pretty people. I understand that struggle. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shady, for sponsoring this video. Now I'm gonna go. My name is Mac, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, babe. Bye!